Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. Hell on Wheels. Let's do a review. Back in 2011, the AMC channel launched a western drama centered around the building of the Transcontinental Railroad called Hell on Wheels. The show follows a fictional Confederate officer named Cullen Bohannon, played by Anson Mount, who is systematically revenge killing the soldiers responsible for slaying his wife and child. He ends up being hired by the historical Charles Durant, played by Cole Meany, and heads west as the foreman of the Union Pacific Railroad. Hell on Wheels is the name given to the portable town that was put up for the workers of the railroad to resupply and get some rest and relaxation. The businesses were typically tents or crude wooden structures designed to be taken apart and rebuilt easily. Folks were always hoping it would end up being permanent, especially given the success a railroad could bring to a settlement, and some actually took root. Cheyenne, Wyoming is one of those towns that did remain permanent, and they point that out in the series. The Southern Pacific, with its main working body of Chinese, didn't have the same rough and lawless towns. Although many of the characters and events are fictional, they represent the real folks and challenges they faced when building the railroad. Cullen Bohannon, the tortured soul with violent tendencies, gives us that western hero. He looks the part and is intelligent to boot. Yeah, and chicks dig him. Do you not believe in a higher power? Yes, sir. I wear it on my head. Are you a gunslinger, then? There are a lot of bad guys in the series. They call me the Swede. I'm Norwegian. Also, a lot of opportunists who aren't all bad, and we end up liking some of them as well. Some other famous historical figures enter into the picture, like Brigham Young and Ulysses S. Grant. However, Hollywood does step in to take its liberties. Bohannon is supposed to carry a Griswold and Gunnison revolver, but close-ups show it's really an 1860 Colts army. Later in the series, he adopts a Remington, and it actually looks pretty good. Generally, the guns in the show are great, and there's plenty of action to back them up. In the second season, Bohannon wears a weathered leather vest, which looks pretty darn cool. However, history suggests that leather vests had a more Native American cut to them. Also, if you look at the rear of his vest, the seams look a little too modern for the 1860s. Here's a modern motorcycle vest for comparison. Oh yeah, in season four we see another vest discrepancy. With the exception of these and a couple other wardrobe issues, I do like what they've done with the rest of the costuming in the show. Research was definitely done. In fact, they actually copied Durant's summer hat from a photo of the historic figure. Watching some behind the scenes gives you an indication of the detail the art department put into historical accuracy. They even rented a period printing press from a museum. The performances are very good, especially by the women. I also like the many cultures depicted through the seasons, which really gives the viewer an idea of Melting Pot America. Now, I won't spoil the finale of the show for you. What I can tell you is that I found it to be a very satisfactory ending to this series. It gives us what this western had been giving us all along, a little history and a little fiction. As of this episode's release, Hell on Wheels will no longer be available on a Netflix subscription. It is available on Amazon Prime for additional fees, and I'm certain we'll see it elsewhere. If you like steam locomotives plunging through cinematic landscapes and old west adventure, then I suggest you watch Hell on Wheels. I'm going to arrest you. <laughs> Why don't you come on over here and try? Well, folks, that's it for another episode. Thanks for watching. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on down the trail. Ooh.